guys, time to start the next draft. I are excite. All right. So I kind of want eventually, probably when we um, hit like a nice rare or something, but I would like to try to force mono red at some point. Now, I don't know that that's what we're going to do here, but that's, uh, that's on my list of things I would like to try. I know this rare is pretty good. It's a non-human, which has a lot of synergies. Also, late game is just a, kind of a great thing to have. It just becomes really huge. It has flash, which you can steal things with, and you can also um, get things with reach. People forget that this has a reach, or, you know, and then they attack their flyer into it. So I think this rare is just good enough. I like this card a lot. I think it's pretty good. Charmed Sleep is really nice. Uh, Searing. I haven't played with a Smasher yet, but he seems great. Four mana of any color, 5-5. Five, five. We had one of these in one of the uh, Ra uh, Ravnica sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take this rare. This is also my main account, so I'm a, a little inclined to take rares when I get decent ones. If I remember correctly, Prince Charming's not actually that great. Enters the battlefield, choose one scry, you gain life. Exile another target creature, you own return to the battlefield under your control, which is good for like sleep cards. Um, first strike. This card seems pretty spicy. 4-4 four, four first striker for five? It's a good combo with Deputy of Detention. That's for standard, right? I don't think it's a good combo for anything in this. I haven't tried this card. He seems like he's got great stats for what he does. Um, run away together. Uh, Forever Young is really nice. A lot of games go to mill, so I wouldn't mind something like that. Uh, Foreboding Fruit. Youthful Knight. Also, the Pixie is really cool. I would be tempted to take the Pixie, but... But I haven't tried this card, so I want to play it. Oh, Punish. Double Pixie would have been great. We could take the Pixie, just in case. I mean, this is pretty meh. Red. I think we might take the Pixie here and just see what's open. Here's a card for the green-white option. So tiny is pretty good. Take the, the horse. I think the horse is pretty good. This plays really well with horse. This is one of my least favorite. Normally the creature side is like just fine for the stats. This one's the worst. A blank 3-2 should not be 4. But it is a cheap pump spell. So. Give and take. Also there's no great blue. Maybe opt. The land is like kind of fine. Um, not a huge fan of this. We did just get rolled by this card. non-human creature you control. I think there's enough upside. I like run away together just in case we decide not to be white. Mm. Ice Queen's pretty good. Wolf's actually surprisingly good. <clears throat> I haven't played with these, but it's just a three mana draw card. I have a 1 1 flyer. I think the wolf has more upside. But we're very much in the middle. We can go either way. We'll see what's open in the next set. I like double run away together. And we wield this with double run away together. All right. I'm interested. It 
So we have the big rare. This thing's kind of cute. What does this do? Return target non land permanent owner's hand draw card. Eh. It is instant, which is nice, but double run away together is probably fine. Hey, we just take this rare. He's a big fat fatty. I like that. Gilded Goose. We'll probably get plenty. We'll have all of the counters that we want. Not worried about that. I really like Gilded Goose. Making food tokens is really cool. Having that ability. So we have Transformation. Yeah, the pony looks good, but then we would be abandoning the blue, right? Like, I feel like we're getting to the point now where we need to make a decision. So, what do we have for pony, right? We have one mediocre card that we're not super in love with playing in the first place. Versus our blue is pretty deep. I think Pixie's good, so Tiny's good, Ice Queen is good. I mean, this is a very viable thing in this format. So I think it's not pony. I'm inclined to take the transform. Also, I kind of, I like, uh, didn't say please, but I think we'll get plenty of those. The white's so strong, trying to make two. You really, you think the white's that much stronger? All right, Twitch chat wants this, so we'll take it. All right, I'll give it a try. We have a good base. Maybe if we get two of the, like, pump spell guys, we can, like, transition back, maybe? Like, into a... Into a mix, we'll see. Um, two drops? We don't have many, right? We have three, that's actually not bad for this point. There's no big pump spells that aren't rare. So I don't really like this card quite as much as I normally do. Still probably just the best thing, considering we have three two drops already. Best of one, we don't need the board card. This card is fucking nuts. Okay, we just got super rewarded for our decision. This card's super stupid. I've died to that card many times. Also getting this card on the wheel is really nice. We just gotta get the like value for it. Again, here's another one, right? We're getting all of the all of the triggers for the adventures. Now we just gotta find the adventures. Here's one. I think we just snap it. the first guide mother or the first unicorn either one is fine maybe we want unicorn because it plays well with the wait no this works when you play the spell huh i think guide mother maybe look how open blue is Oh my goodness, normally I can't find enough uh, runaways together. Uh, poo pack, right guys? I mean, stock is kind of cool because it gives reach. A lot of people forget that. You can eat some stuff. We could uh, rare draft. 
mean, that's eventually going to be 20 gems, right? As you as soon as you complete the full set, so extra rares are always good. I don't think Cauldron or Egg are, are, are good enough. I don't think we're going to run them is the problem. I think we just rare draft. I don't want any of these cards. Maybe the common land, but we'll probably wheel that anyway. Hey, this guy's really good. He triggers all of the things that we want to trigger, so that's nice. I'm kind of tempted to take the pump spell. It's an untapped pump, which is one of my favorites. That's one of my one of the tricks I love pe getting people with. It's also really cheap for the other guy. This is gonna be a 16 land deck for sure. Just mono pump spells and four drops. We have plenty of twos. I'm gonna take the guide mother. That's a very late casket, actually. Happy to take that. Mm. Oh, this is a little top end. I like this. Something a little a little more hefty. Pump spells. Righteousness is cute, but I think we want to be the aggressor on like this mono four drop thing. So I think I would take the pump spell. I'll probably play the bird. We got a deck. Ooh, 80 gems. What did I take? We just had all of the rares that I drafted. Did I get a mythic? Serpent? Bird. I'm sure I have four birds, actually, because I played a deck. That's what, three rares? Four rares? Yeah, it's 80. Wait, we just had play sets of everything that we opened. this thing. I actually really don't like this guy that much, in all honesty. It's a lot of five drops, actually. Maybe we are doing full amount. I don't like her very much. I don't think we need her. I don't like him as much. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six adventures for the po pony? Maybe seven? I don't know if I counted that one. How are we doing on creatures here? One, two, two creatures. That's a fuck done. We don't need that many. Pretty cuttable, cuttable, cuttable. Don't really make very many foods. Do we have anything to activate this? We have just the one, right? We have casket and we we just dropped the other one. Oh no, here's another artifact. We have two ways to trigger the fox. Probably not good enough. 19 creatures. It's a lot. This guy's worth it then. And maybe keep in stock for the big beats. Gives us a lot more things to trigger the horse with. And we are gonna stay 17 now that we added a five and a six here at the end. We should get some really good value on innkeeper. We should get some really uh, good value here on the mares. I like it. It's a solid deck. Got some stuff. No big bombs or whatever, but I can kill people. 
I don't think this is 16 lands. It's close, but if this was like over here, then I would 16 for sure. Uh, or if we had like two of the uh, redrop ramp spells, but we don't. We want to be able to cast a creature plus a pump spell, like plus one of our um, adventure pump spells. We'll have plenty of things to do with our mana. Our curve is much higher than it looks because of that. All right, let's play some games. Someone's gonna think that I'm playing a standard deck. Turn one, Goose. Turn two, Coco. I'll be like, no. And I'll be like, ha ha ha. I'm going to attack him with the Goose to assert dominance. We could have ramped into the horse, I guess. Oh, seems like bad resource use, but maybe that's better. He does have three land open now, which is a little tilting. Which would I rather lose, this or the horse? Pretty even. I, th I think either way is getting countered. So we can make our guy a 6-6 six, six now. Run away together would suck, but... Sacrifice sun. He does have a mill deck. He's he's what eight cards deep into our deck already? Six cards deep. So this has trample, which is nice. Four, five, six. Let's see if there's a stick here. I mean, there's gonna be a stick because he can activate this. We're gonna try to bait out the counter here. A runaway together would suck, but hopefully it's not a counter because I would like to be able to play this stupid tree. If he counters the pump spell, we lose the tree and we know he's got the counter. I was hoping he would do it on this, but no, no such luck. He's gonna take six here. He's down to one card. He's used three counters. And our trampler becomes a 8-8 eight, eight trampler next turn.
So if he taps two, he'll have four, five, six, seven, eight power, which will be enough to trade across. Oh, that is nice. Okay, at least we don't have to worry about that. If it's silent in dismay, it won't break this feeling down. If I conquer this my way, I devour, I surround. If it hurts you just a little, then it heals you when it's done. Disappointment is the anchor, resolution is the sun. An 8A Trampler is quite large. He's got no cards left, no blocks. Yeah, I'm gonna make a food with a goose. It depends how much he attacks for. I might just eat a food. Because we're gonna wanna cast the tree next turn, right? Like, if he holds control, attacks, blows this up, like, we might actually want to eat. Dun, dun, dun. Is this our second match or our first match? Mm -mm -mm. I would think he would have to just quad block it, right? I think making a food or eating a food is worth it. Worth showing him my last card. Mm -hmm. He can trade two for one now. If he wanted. Ooh, actually, we just kill him here, huh? Next turn. I think we just wait. Uh, well. If he 
chooses to double block and blow this up, then he doesn't have it for this. Hmm. A little tough. But then he'll have great blockers. And I have no other power on the board. I think we'll wait. Oh no! It's starting! You got some land off the top. But it is indeed starting. Save Fairy Guide Mother. We have like another horse and we have a an innkeeper. We do need to start making some progress though, is the problem. Three, four, five. is he's gonna mill us out the food's gonna be irrelevant we need another big creature the, oh the other thing is is we have the uh flash wolf is another reason we might want to wait how do we kill him at six this is an instant we might be able to bait it out of him. Oh, it works out the same, doesn't it? Oh, shit. For some reason, I was thinking that we were going to get this. So it's in response to that. Yeah, this doesn't help. I guess maybe we should put it on this. Yeah, we should put it on this. nice of them. Is this also a counter? Because that'd be disgusting. <laughs> I'm really surprised he blocked here. I mean, I could sack a food and then hit him for five if I had the pump spell. No! Another cauldron! It's better than a mill spell, I guess. Alright, well, I can't do anything. Eight cards. We just need him to keep bricking.
we still have a pump spell in our deck too. Or wait, did he? I, I haven't been paying attention to what he's milled. There's our enchantment. We do have one pump spell. So we could cast the Fairy Guide Mother on this and then in response pump it. Or whatever. Possible. This isn't going to kill him in time. Mm. I think we have a pump spell. Mm. No, you're not supposed to top deck a flyer. Dude. This is a problem. It makes it so my out is no longer available. Oh! This is a problem. There are so many problems! His deck is full of like moderately dirtily shit too, which is pretty funny. Interesting though, this is the first time I've seen like a mono blue. I've seen red and green a bunch. I think this is the first mono blue. The mill decks are usually pretty close, but they usually have some sort of support thing. Getting our first three spells countered was pretty rough, but. one card left and it's always good and I can't fairy guide mother so crack this in response ah you win I can't I can't beat him guys we got four cards left there's nothing we can do I guess I have one pump spell but with the flyer we can't get there he just chumps it record today. <sighs> this is what we were looking for. I think this was still an out until he played that flyer. your trickery.
Come on, ma. Oh, hell yeah. Well, fuck, now he's got a fucking food, though. Okay, this is fine. Now he doesn't have the extra... Oh, no, he does. Crap. has every answer. Stop. Mm. Obviously. I think this deck is kind of fine. We just gotta not get tricked. Pump spell is gonna wreck us right here. We take a bunch. us for a bunch. One pump spell and we die? Mm -hmm. This draft is not going our way, guys. I can't play enough things next turn. No, I definitely can't play enough things now. Jeez. All right, well. At least the draft will be not so painful. I think this deck is fine, too. I think it's equivalent to our last deck. You guys started talking about like bands and all kinds of stuff and I got a little lost and I stopped paying attention to chat. I think this is the least interactive chat I've had or that I've been with chat in a while. But you guys are in some deep conversation and I can't, you know, focus on losing matches and focus on all of the details. I'm a slacker. All right, innkeeper, that's a thing. I can't believe that guy had three counters in his opener almost. Pretty. This is whenever you cast a creature spell. So he scried two top, that's not good for me. We don't have anything else to do, I'm just gonna hit him. Play the Guide Mother next turn. If we don't draw anything else, right? If we don't draw, uh, planes. Fudge. Rude. Why do they always do that to us? We have all white spells. Scary. This is going to be a pretty quick loss. Can we get a white land? Please? Yay! I will trade with this. That's unfortunate. 
unfortunate as well. <laughs> Yikes. Mm, that is unfortunate. So many draw things. I think this is an instant. I'm gonna tap down whatever he plays and flash this in and then play goose and get everything. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, maybe we won't tap things down. He's running out of shit though, which is good. He's also tapped out now. He's cried too top again. It's unnecessary. So if he has like a land and plays the other Ice Queen, then we can tap the two Ice Queens, send. So we've got two targets. This one he has to deal with, this one, you know, he can block forever, but. I would have probably just played this instead of this, because this is like a surprise lethal, but I mean, this was a lot of damage he wasn't expecting. This has reach, that's a problem. That works on that, right? Sure that works. Ooh, ouch. He had another answer, Ob. Oh. We have some pump spells that we could use to pump the goose if he plays the this guy, right? Can't believe he had the freaking thing. So absurd. You are not a pump spell. to 
knowledge now though he can play another one of those this is what a non-human these are humans that's a human hmm. that's pump spell so he'll block block take the goose So if he just do, if he decides to block the seven seven, We could have waited another turn, tried to set it up a little bit better. I was really hoping he would get greedy. We still have two flyers, so any pump spell is still lethal, like waiting for a pump spell, so it's kind of the same. land 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 pump spell so like we weren't drawing it for a while anyway we have fairy guide mothers I smell too much. I dream too much. right that's lethal we have I think we have one more fairy guide mother we have a normal pump spell but not very many outs I can't believe he had this thing for our stupid things. Tilting. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Top Deck Wars. Hey, thank you. Hey, Bobby. Twitch Prime for two months. You got a raffle ticket and a pack for the drinking game. Shit. That card is such a good top deck. The raffle will be on Friday and you don't need to be here to win. You'll have one week to claim. Oh, so bad for me. So he draws fairy into fairy <laughs> into fucking mill card. I'm at 14 cards. I hate you so much right now. Gives him two more block, two more flying blockers, so he just can't win. Now he has three blocks. Even if we manage to find the pump spell. He forgot it had reach! That helps so much. Holy fuck. So now he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Land doesn't help me. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> kind mother, no. Oh, why? They're both fairies too to pump this thing up too. Mm. 
It was such a good top deck to put all the creatures back on top of his library. So sad. Oh! He mills my cards and we draw a land, and then he mills my cards and we draw fucking land! Stop! I think this is our best 03 deck ever. I mean, the deck's not like a home run, but it's definitely not an 03 deck. Create foods. Yeah, he's at one. I've been just being lazy. We also have no like triggers for them and our amount of outs is closing. He's milling us to death. So creating foods is gonna be pretty irrelevant, but. If you wanna be, you know, particular about how I get milled out, how much life total I have when I'm milled to death, then sure. <laughs> if he attacks me with the one thing that deals damage, he loses, right? You felt like the deck was much better than this? Oh, it is. The deck is infinitely better than this. Because why not? Because of laziness? That's why. I have the 1 3, I think it's milled. Eight, nine. How big can we make this? Eight, nine, ten? It's trampoly. So if we hit the pump spell, maybe we can get him? If we then alpha? Right? We have a five mana pump spell in here somewhere, I think. Unless we got rid of it. We might have cut it. I don't think we did, though. So. You don't have trample, so that's irrelevant. One, two, three. No! One of his top decks are so good! <laughs> They're so good! cry where's my flood emote hey a first time you knew you knew you knew sorry I'm terrible I kept wanting to say the end first because phonetics I was botching it up Thank you so much, love. You got a raffle ticket to Friday's drawing and a pack added to the drinking game. Who mills first? He's a mill deck. Four, five, six, seven. We don't have any more of these. I have five cards left. Oh my god, these guys will just keep it locked down long enough. I thought he only had one of them. That's why I decided to attack. Didn't see the second one. Ugh. This guy's deck is annoying me. He's annoying me into oblivion. He has three things that deal with flyers now. Do we have another fairy guide mother? I think we might. Oh, he has a food now too. No!
Don't have a counter. You counted the first five things. How many creatures does he have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Why aren't we alphaing? Because he just kills everything. This 8-8 eight eight kills my flyers, and it's the only real outs I have. We're gonna alpha soon. I was just trying to hope to get to a creature spell. And I've been attacking with this every time. So now if we attack with this, this, and we just played this other big creature, right? We attack with our flyers. He eats one of them, but then he's chumping these things. lose more than we'll lose. So we have- I was trying to wait out for a pump spell. We have a plus five. And also, uh, like I said, we lose our flyers to this thing, so... It made things a little sticky. I was gonna hold back the 1 3 and the 2 1, but I think this is maybe just better. Getting him to chump some of these things means we might be able to get in for the extra damage, but we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose two things uncontested. But he'll lose a couple of things uncontested as well. So I think once we found this guy, we made our made our op options much better. It also gave us the goose that could attack. We'll see how it all pans out. Hopefully he loses more creatures than we do. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. That's a problem. Wait a turn, or do we attack with this and try to kill his flying thing? What if he plays a creature next turn? Then we're even more fucked, right? Well, we have another creature coming untapped next turn as well. Five. Let's just hope he doesn't have a- this is not a fucking counter spell. This is how we get there. And if this is a counter spell, we just get wrecked. If he draws a fucking mill spell, we also get wrecked. He might be trolling us with his like mill spell in his hand. That would be great. What if he was just holding one of these, waiting? That would be fantastic. Feels a little greedy, but... Yeah! 
We did an O3! Woo! God, this is just some grindy fucking matches, guys. Ugh. <laughs> I think this might be the last game before we do a 30 minute bounty. And then we'll come back and play more. And I'll do something for people who stick around. Mmm, this is a mole. Mmm, this is bad. <laughs> Saving 5,000 gold to try it. Yeah, I recommend it. Please let me get free value. Hopefully he's really bad, plays something pre-combat, and then attacks. I'm, my creature's tapped. There's no reason for you not to play your creature pre-combat and be sloppy, because I would. Stops him from attacking, too. And it's not like we have anything else to cast. Now we're fucked. We got good value. Ish. He doesn't know that these are blanks. Maybe he'll get really greedy, spend four mana, make me discard two planes? Close. Weren't you in a MTG tournament? I've been in a few. Out of sight. Very cool. Uh, I mean, it depends which tournament you're talking about. Some are cooler than others. This is fine for me. One baked in a pie, and we are dead. What are drinking packs? Uh, you can take a look at the drinking rules. Here's a link. Uh, they are a way for us to do drinking games, essentially. doesn't know how first strike works? Nope. 
Have we drawn any spells? <laughs> we drew only the pump spell, I think. We need it. I was worried she was drinking MTG cards. I mean... How would I liquefy them? Chumping with whatever he plays. It, it, one card at a time, we're just getting our value back. melt them into a paste. I think they would burn into an ash before they melted. But sure. Yeah. <sighs> I do usually stream at night and I do usually draft, yes. Plus one, plus one counters and vigilance. Sure. Anyway, for eight's actually pretty good. I guess I could have pumped here. Still takes four though, right? Yeah. Either way. Ina, thank you. First time Twitch Prime sub. Uh, you got a pack for the drinking game and a raffle ticket for Friday's drawing. But you don't need to be here to win. You'll have one week to claim. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Wish I had Jesse's girl. One is probably me. I just know it. Is he looking for a reach character? That works. I forgot you could sack the ginger brute. Dragging this uh, out of the gutter, guys. Not 
too bad. 2-2, two, two, we are now 50%. I think this uh, this deck is a lot better than our early games would would suggest. Um, I'm gonna keep playing this game, this draft deck, but this is gonna be the end of the YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed the draft process. If you have any input or questions, uh, put your feedback down below. I am still learning the format. I've only done a few drafts, so I would definitely love to hear what you guys think. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Please check the link down below for our sponsor, Card Kingdom. They help me out with making so much of this content. Also, a big thank you to everyone who has signed up for my Patreon. Without you, none of this content would be possible.